Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. I kind of like these mic only videos. I don't know, I'm just... I don't know about, like, what it is about them, but I like them. If you guys like them, you can tell me. If you don't, you can tell me. I'm still probably going to do them anyway because I like them. But, um, anyway, I want to talk about, uh, Firestorm in Battlefield 5. You know, I've been playing it a lot. I feel like I have probably one of the most uninformed opinions ever because I have only played probably about... 20 games, but they're all you know, pretty good games, and uh, I just want to talk about what happened, kind of how I feel about it. So I guess, I guess this is first impressions, but even then, I still don't feel like I even have first impressions of this game. But um, the first thing I want to touch on is the tiered loot system. I really do not like tiered loot. I'm okay with like rarity, right? Like. The Thompson is more rare than the MP40, which is more rare than a Gewehr 43, you know? You know, you got the rare guns, and then you have the not-so-rare guns. But I feel like in Battlefield 5, a lot of the guns are balanced out anyways, that uh, the way they have it where the sniper rifles are the most rare, um, I think it, it fits it extremely well. But the whole, you know, okay, it's a green so it's like no attachments it's a blue so it's got some attachments it's a purple it's got the best attachments and even then some of the attachments aren't even consistent like when i see a blue shotgun or even i believe a pink one if there even is a pink one um i'm like hey does this have slugs oh no it doesn't i gotta reload it all the way you know because i only want to use a shotgun if it has slugs so you know there's not a lot of information on the attachments i kind of wish there was an attachment system, where, like you attach different things. I think if they did it to where like you only, I don't know, you can't remove attachments or you can, I don't know, I just feel like an attachment system would be really, really nice. So that's kind of like my 50-50 on it. That was my one note I wrote for 50-50 things, you know, and the tiered system, I, I don't like it, but it works. It makes It makes it so going to places like objectives and different things like that you know really risking it to kill people for their best loot it makes it worth you know the risk so it definitely makes it so that risking yourself your stuff and your life to get the better gear is valuable because i really like like the fg42 for instance i prefer the tier three over the tier two and the one you know so i think even with this tier loot system if they make it so every tier three item is worth more than the tier two and the tier one i think it'll do great so i kind of uh yeah i don't like weapon i don't like how there's no weapon customization looting is all right um i i like the loot frequency i think you know i get a decent amount of guns it seems very fair you know the bigger buildings have the bigger things and it's very it's for the most part, you know, obvious where you'd find weapons and stuff. Um, I don't like how when someone dies, the loot doesn't spread out enough. It's hard to grab stuff. And this happened to me in the last game of Firestorm I played where my friend died and I wanted to grab his sniper rifle and I couldn't grab it fast and so I ended up taking a couple bullets because I couldn't grab the sniper fast. So that kind of pissed me off. I don't like, like the loot doesn't spread out enough or there's not like a list of stuff that you can grab. You know, nothing like that. So I, I kind of wish looting was easier, or the loot kind of flew out more, or even if, like, the loot fell in, like, a grid pattern, just any way to make it so they don't stack on each other and it's easy to grab stuff, I'd say. That's kind of what I would like to see. And the time to get in the matches, especially in squads, it sometimes takes five minutes. Just, it's, it's, it's stupid. I hate the time in the matches. Like... If it's five minutes to get in a match, that means, I mean, for me, average match is like 15, 20 minutes. That means every three to four matches, I waste a whole match getting into a game, and I, I, I don't like that. But even with that being said, there's a lot of positives, and I want to say that overall, my experience with Firestorm so far has been really positive. I really like it. I, I feel like it's it's got potential and it and playing this mode it doesn't feel shoehorned in and it doesn't quite feel like it's like a typical multiplayer game mode like it feels like 
they put it in there and it was ready to go like this feels like i guess like in black ops 2 call of duty black ops 2 when we got the zombies maps how even though they were really basic they worked really well and they didn't have to get changed and i feel like firestorm the majority of things inside of this first map and the game mode itself don't need to be changed. So I'm really, really happy about that. I really, like, this This definitely ups the value of Battlefield 5. I wouldn't necessarily quite say buy Battlefield 5 for just this game mode, but it definitely ups the value of the game. Definitely gives you the value that single player should have given you. So, some positives. I think the biggest one is the sound in this game. Whoever made the sound for Firestorm deserves like a nobel prize it's so easy to identify how far gunshots are like i had this experience where i was running in a hilled area and i heard gunshots and i was like oh that's you know two of these hills away or i could identify okay it's behind this hill and it was really easy it's easy to hear footsteps it's easy to hear what the footsteps are on whether it's snow wood grass sandbags everything i like it i like the sound design man like it makes it it feel competitive and it doesn't it's not a chore for the to like understand sound design like i think after my first game of firestorm right after game one i was like holy cow i don't have to do anything to learn the sound in this game just think of like Think, think of, be a human, you know, think of what human would do and human does in this game with sound. The gunplay is really good. Like, it's just Battlefield gunplay and Battlefield 5 has good gunplay. Like, I, I think I said this to my friend Austin, so far in my 20 games, which means, um, I think I won twice, so if I say about 20 games, um, many deaths and downs and revives, I haven't died um a death where you're like oh it's bullshit death i shouldn't have died like that hasn't happened to me there was even a, a death where i'm like i knew when i died before i saw this guy's stats that if i would have hit him with one more bullet maybe two and then i missed a knife my knife would have hit him i would have killed him and that's exactly what showed him on screen like I've played Battlefield 5 a lot, so I know the weapon values, and I'm like, dang, I almost killed this guy. I very clearly missed my two shots and my knife, so I didn't kill him. Really, really impressed with the gunplay. The squads mode is really fun. I, I like the squads mode. Um, I kind of wish there was a couple more emotes that you could do, like when you request ammo, like a list comes down so you can request specific ammo, but squad mode is definitely really fun i think i like squad mode better than solo mode which i think is typical for the i guess battle royales i would say solo mode i feel like the squad mode isn't like a better solo mode they definitely feel like two different games like solo mode for instance when you have a tank is very different than squads you know solo i feel like you know you use the tank a lot differently almost passive aggressive than you could in squads where you could use it aggressively and be fine and the the last thing is the meta the meta in this game feels very good like i feel like if you if i want to get good with an smg you know of course not every situation it's, it's it's not like oh you always need to have a sniper you always need to have an lmg you always need to have an smg you know there hasn't really been anything like that for me I feel like, you know, for playing multiplayer for, I don't know how many hours, you know, I almost have all my classes level 20, uh, there's definitely weapons I prefer in multiplayer, and that translates into the Battle Royale mode, and I'm not punished by it, right? Like, I like the SMGs in multi, well, I like the Thompson in multiplayer, <laughs> so if I have a Thompson, I do good. I don't really use assault rifles, so if I have an assault rifle, I don't do as good. I use different LMGs, so if I have a mounted LMG or an FMG 42, I'm, I do fine. I don't really snipe a lot, but I still have accuracy from Battlefield 1, so you know I'm, I'm rewarded for the sniping skill that I got in Battlefield 1. So, overall, really impressed 
with this mode. In, in a sense that, like, you know, gaming culture over the past however many years, when you buy a multiplayer game, it's expected that there's going to be glitches, there's going to be bugs, it's going to be broken, it's going to be unbalanced, there's OP weapons, all this stuff. And I think that Battlefield 5 with the beta kind of balanced stuff out a little bit. And then it compounded to where Firestorm came out, and it feels great. It feels like a mode that's not broken, you know, it's just the step one of Firestorm. And, you know, they're going for the live service style of Battlefield 5. And I think, you know, Firestorm as a live service, you know, if they could release one map every three months. And so, like, if they release one map every three months and put all the, and put, maybe not all of them, but put some guns into Firestorm, you know, different types of guns, and improved upon it, I think Firestorm would be a great game mode. I think Firestorm also has potential for, you know, special game modes, too, like, Something like Pistols Only. I mean, Pistols Only would be... I, I could see that being an intense mode in Firestorm because of the time to kill. Snipers Only, you know? I mean, every Battle Royale could have a Snipers Only mode. Or maybe each squad spawns with a tank, and all the tanks have infinite fuel, but not infinite ammo. You know, something crazy like that. That'd be so cool, because it's Battlefield, right? Maybe all the vehicles are helicopters. And so you have people with Panzerfausts riding around and they're shooting from helicopters. Yeah, that'd be so cool. I like it, I like it. So that's really it for this video, guys. Um, I know it's pretty long, but um, I wrote a lot of notes and I still hold true to these notes. I really think that there's something special going on here. I'm really happy with this mode. I definitely love it. I'm loving it. I just... I know I said I'm like, oh, looting's bad, time to get in the match is bad, but, like, even with that, the game mode itself is good. It's fun, intense, I like it. So, thank you so much for watching this video, or listening, or just listening to my voice. If you enjoyed, you can tell them in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Battlefield 5. I'm Super Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post. Of whatever I decide to make.